I'm flying Air Singapore. Hey, Douglas, how's the wife? She died. Atta boy! Said <laughs> 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 that's a good one, man. <laughs> Shit! Yo, it's me, Chris. As you guys can see today, I'm wearing the exact same outfit, I think, in the last video. Perhaps? Maybe not. Anyways, I'm still sick, don't feel good, and I kind of sound like shit. Nothing new. I'm with this guy. Hey, it's me, Curtis, aka Kim's Beers, aka Woo! Built different, aka Chubby Rain himself in the flesh. And the guy your mom is always talking about. I'm wearing the shirt today. What that person on your tape has is a medical disorder. <sighs> that is for your mother, and today we're gonna be doing something that's considered the hardest task on this planet, which is. I gotta sneeze. You just you watching a movie. What movie are we watching? You can tell. I think I'm gonna sneeze, dude. You're gonna watch the other guys with Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell. I've seen it recommended the YouTube comments and sub videos, and I just said, you know what? Why not? Why not? Do you know what? Honestly, people on our channel love Will Ferrell. For whatever reason it is, they dig the Ferrell. You know what? We do too. We do. We dig Willie Ferrell. Ugh. Dude, I know what was that. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze still. It's you know who's not <laughs> the people on the Patreon. They are not. <laughs> Dude, I almost made myself sick. <laughs> the people on the Patreon. They are not disgustingly sick individuals. They are healthy, beautiful, nourishing-looking human beings. They are the greatest people on this planet. And then we have those of you who are subbing to the Optical Channel at this very moment. You guys are also healthy wonderful great people on this planet and then we have those of you who are not sub to the channel you guys are sick i don't mean what i do to your mother but i mean sick <laughs> as in you're disgustingly crepid horribly malnourished and you look like gollum for the lord of the rings you're ugly beyond belief that's how sick and disgusting you are but hey there's a cure for being such a disgusting little crepid creature you can sub to the channel right now and you're healthy baby you're beautiful baby you're working it you got it all but just sub to the channel right now bam right now uh oh fuck that scared me wait the, 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 the rock oh shit sammy j hey yo holy shit damn look at that oh Oh, that's kind of sick. A ding? There's a ding in the hood. Oh, shit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Someone called 9-1, holy shit. Holy fuck, man. Hey, wh what? Ooh. What? You're gonna hijack the tour bus? Was that actually a good idea to get out? Dude, they're in front of the Trump Tower. <laughs> really? Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. The soundtrack is bumping. What the fuck? Wait, he lived. He lived. Yeah, one at a time. All right. How the New fuck York did he live? These suspects were caught with only a quarter pound of marijuana. A <laughs> million in property damages. Why don't we let New York City answer that question? The greatest city on earth. Yeah. yeah great way to, uh, to derail that one, man. Solid. TMZ print edition. Uh, Danson, are the rumors about you and Kim Kardashian true? No comment. But yes. <laughs> Free hot dogs for life! Hey, okay. Free hot dogs. That's kind of cool. They're rock stars. Then you got your jokers, your ball busters, your vets, and the other guys. <laughs> you will, Farrell, man. Guys, I'm going to say something right now. It's about a man who came from Austria with a dream. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I, let me finish. <laughs> a champion and then a movie star. Arnold and, Schwarzenegger. God damn it, let me finish. <laughs> they ruined the story. All right. I, the, what, the point is, we couldn't do our job if it weren't for you guys doing all the paperwork, answering the phones, all that stupid shit that we don't like to do. <laughs> all the gunfights, all the car chases, all the sex we don't want to have with women, but we have to. <laughs> <laughs> and we do it again and again. I, 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 you shut your face, <laughs> shove my arm up your ass, and work your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! Cash bar. Yeah. 
Peace out, bitches. <laughs> hey, fellas. <clears throat> All right, bring it in. Come on, bring it in a little bit. All, All right. right. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, not too close to the Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> All right, just, just one. <laughs> just a, there you go, right there. Right there. This is their paperwork. You know they're not going to do it. That's right. <laughs> it's like Bob's wife here. It's thick, ugly, got Danzig's fingerprints all over it. That's all right. Anyway. <laughs> oh, fuck. Stop humming that song. I can hum if I want to. I'm asking you to stop. Well, if you're asking, then I'll stop. Thank you. Could you not smile like that? Now you're asking me to mask my emotions because of how it makes you feel? That I will not do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just goes back to the humming. Seriously. Stop humming! Okay? Stop being so overtly happy about doing shit work, you moron. <laughs> Tinder. The police union picnic's coming up this weekend. Uh, my wife's making her famous deviled eggs. It's a bad time, Bob! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> poor Bob, dude. <laughs> I'm just playing solitaire the whole time. A couple detectives and I was about to start badmouthing you behind your back, but I stopped myself because my pops taught me that a man who talks behind somebody's back is a coward. Wow, I actually appreciate that. Good, because I'm going to tell you directly to your face. No. <laughs> I to. no, I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. The sound of your piss hitting the urinal? It sounds feminine. Mm. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Even if you weren't in my food chain, I would go out of my way to attack you. <laughs> if I were a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out in the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you. What the fuck? Lions don't like water. If you'd placed it near a river or some sort of fresh water source, that'd make sense. But you find yourself in the ocean, 20-foot waves, I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa, you lose that battle. And guess what? You've wandered into our school of tuna, and we now have a taste of lion. We've talked to ourselves. We've communicated yeah. and said, you know what? Lion tastes good. We've developed a system to establish what? a beachhead and aggressively hunt you and your family. <laughs> we will corner your, your pride, your children, your How offspring. How are you going to do that? We will construct a series of breathing apparatus with kelp. We will be able to... With kelp! You just lost your own game. You're outgunned and outmanned. Oh, what the f Holy shit. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? <laughs> minutes before the oh man that's actually really funny <laughs> that was well thought of the whole tuna it's like i popped two of them off the draw bang bang yeah and i raise up to take the leader out oh shit i feel like i'm there now <laughs> <laughs> he says let's even the odds he tosses me down a mossberg pump i send one through his chest oh damn game over bitches yes. <laughs> all right let's fucking go Woo! nice how that story made you feel like a viagra pill with a face <laughs> what some of the guys were talking uh they were like how come you never fired your weapon in the office before good point i'm sorry i, I don't what? follow fire your weapon in the office i have you know it's called a desk pop fellas look i i know you don't a desk pop don't think just don't go play. here we go do it yes oh, 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 oh man all right, Alan, you're gonna have to hand over your gun. Yes, sir. Captain, you really want to disarm this guy? Take out the batteries in the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dummy gun. I use it for ceremony. You get you this do? back when I feel you know how to handle it. A wooden gun? I got another job at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm doing that just to put a kid through NYU so he can explore his bisexuality and become a DJ. <laughs> Oh, shit! Alright, that's one way to do it, I guess. Cream puff. I can, you can't keep me cooped up in here, okay? I am a peacock! You gotta let me fly! <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Can he, just, can he just call himself a peacock? Can peacocks even fly? I don't think so. I, I'm this really sure they don't. Ooh. Oh. Well, there goes a sweet ride. It's dead. What the fuck? They're flipping and flopping. Oh, this is well thought out. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> A for 
through the bushes. There was no single piece of fucking foliage or anything like that down there. Goes pushed them off. I don't know. Why is Ice T narrating this? Either way, there was a hole in New York City. <laughs> I can't believe that was it. That's how they die. I mean, it makes sense. I think they're the only ones who can kill themselves, really. Look at these two jamokes, would you? One shot Jeter and the other shot at office. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? If you touch him, I swear to God, I'm going to beat the shit out of you with Alan's head. He's not going to do that. That's hyperbole, but that's a weird example. You want to go? I want to go! Wait, what the fuck? If I was doing it in the hood. What is shit going to move? Okay. I'm the winner. Okay. I'm the winner. Everybody okay. saw it. What the hell is going on here? I'm the winner. I didn't need you to stick up for me, okay? What was that whole thing? It's like their own fight club at a funeral. <laughs> I like they're all whispering too. 915, let's have a great day, everybody. Cut the shit! <laughs> there are large amounts of cocaine on the scene. Try to stay out of trouble, boys. There's no chance you'd want to go in that car, right? Eh? No chance. Right. You girls stay here and get your type on. Go get them, guys. A lot of energy, a lot of focus. Shut up. <laughs> Can I see you in the hallway for a second? We're going to the car, and we're going after this case. He's not going to shoot me. Oh, I won't? No. I shot Jeter. Well, that was an accident. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Start going on me. I'm being kidnapped. <laughs> no one gives a shit. I woke up, I took the belt off my neck, and I got in my car, and I got out of there. Talk about a wild weekend, right? I thought I was going to shoot my way out. <laughs> what? What are you going to do, though, you know? Bar mitzvahs. <laughs> you feel that, Alan? Huh? That tingling in your balls, big metal butterflies flooding around your stomach? Are you sure you don't have testicular cancer? <laughs> you just signed your death warrant, Hoyt! Alan, punch that accelerator or I'll shoot you in the foot! America! <laughs> America! Did you yell America when you hit the accelerator? Nope, no. I got me slightly aroused. <laughs> I didn't know they put tampons on wheels. <laughs> You've had her fun, huh? Looks like Scarface sneezed on your car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to back up now. We're taking over. At the crime scene, LOL. Good tweet, yeah. good tweet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bunch of fucking idiots. Now, according to Ask Jeeves, this perp is at the Plaza Hotel speaking right now. That's your big case? Scaffolding permits? It makes sense, actually. You're coming with me. <laughs> it's a wooden gun. Oh! <laughs> I've always got Little River Band loaded up here. I got six discs in here. Six? People must really hate them. At the back of the service entrance, I'm flying Air Singapore. Hey, Douglas, how's the wife? She died. At a boy! That's a good one, man. <laughs> Shit! Excuse me, I think you're under arrest, okay? What? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say can be used. Um, what's the next part? As a flotation device. As a flotation device. <laughs> That's very funny. What am, I, what am I being arrested for? For scaffolding permit violation. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Do not let these men take me. Oh, Hi. Why is she looking at you like that? It's my car. Hey, 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 we didn't exchange. Where did they take our shoes? <laughs> what, what, what the fuck? When the hell? When did they take the shoes? Maybe we should uh, call ourselves the Febreze Brothers because it's feeling so fresh right now. Let's do another fresh start because I just want to punch you in the face. <laughs> God, that was horrible. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> investment banker David Ershon. Was he the victim of financial profiling? Financial profiling? Financial profiling? What? Wait, what the fuck? Why don't we just go over to my place? We'll talk the case down. We can have a little dinner. It's not dinner. Fine. And let me apologize in advance, okay, in case my wife acts like a world class bitch. All right. <clears throat> Please, pictures of Mr. David Urshan. I used uh, Adobe Premiere. I like to do a little wow. weekend editing. Nice, nice. David Urshan is currently the CEO of Urshan Consortium. Who's that talking? It's the uh, frontline narration app. It's only 99 cents. 
Sweet. David Urshan is often found in the company of Judge Scalia. Yeah. And the lead singer of Maroon 5. I mean, this guy could be connected to drug cartels. How do you get yeah. that from anything I just said? Hey guys. Maroon 5 explains it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo! Hi. You must be Terry. I'm sorry I've been hiding, honey, but this dinner was tricky. Sweetie, it's a workstation. Got it. You come in here dressed like a hobo it's distracting i know you're working i'm so sorry come on a hobo a hobo get over here mm. not not right now okay look they're not all <laughs> she looks kind of shitty don't speak to her like that alan look if i put that in my cosmo fashion app you, you probably get a d minus <laughs> whoa what loves him you know he's designed three of his own one of them you can take a picture of anybody's face and i'll tell you what the back of his head looks like what the fuck some horrible reviews coming out of the gate. It's gonna hit. It's gonna catch. Yeah. Why are you with Alan? <laughs> How did you guys meet? I was a dancer for the Knicks while finishing my residency at Columbia Hospital. Alan came into the ER with poison ivy on his rectum. Yeah. And needless to say, I fell for him immediately. It's funny, it's like, it's like a scene from that one movie with Meg Ryan. Yes. I don't remember a movie where Meg Ryan meets a guy with poison ivy up his ass. <laughs> She's got mail. That's the name of the That's movie. That's it. Oh. With Tom Hanks? Mm -hmm. Right. And Meg, Meg Ryan. Ryan. He didn't have poison ivy up his ass. Oh, yes, he, yes did. he did. Yeah. <laughs> what? Tom Hanks had poison ivy in his ass. Lovely evening. Thank you. So, so nice meeting you, Terry. It was my pleasure. Thank you. And remember. <laughs> you don't let him get hurt, Terry. She tells me that every day before I leave. Yep, I do. I say, listen, my little sugar balls. Sugar, sugar balls. balls? And then I show him my breasts and I say, these. These are waiting for you when right. you get back home. You know, Terry, they're, they're not... <laughs> His face! <laughs> and they are firm, and they are yours. You're a nice lady. <laughs> Bye, Terry! Bye, Sheila. I'll never forget tonight. Bye, Terry! All right, Alan, whatever, go inside. Bye, <laughs> Sheila! <laughs> I don't know if you heard me. Bye, Terry! Bye, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> Bodily fluid and hair samples, we determined that a bunch of old homeless dudes had an orgy in the car. Oh. oh. It's called a soup kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. There was a two-minute phone call made after we were jumped. The ghost dialed. Well, could have recorded some of that conversation when Urshan got grabbed. Oh, no. Nope. No, it's nothing. Nothing? It's, it's nothing. It's the only lead it's we nothing. have. Why'd you just get super jumpy? It's an ex-girlfriend, okay? It's the only lead we have. We either go with this or we walk away from this case right now. Fine. Let's go see her. Wait, yeah. Hello, Christina. That's my partner, Terry. Hi, Telly. <laughs> she called him Telly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I waited for you in Tower Records for four hours. That was 13 years ago. Beep, beep. Oh, fuck it, Sam. What? what? I did things in bed with you that I haven't done with anyone since. <laughs> no. Christina, your husband. It's, it's oh, awkward. no, he knows all this. You're a lucky dog. It's true. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there's my phone. Oh, great. Thank you for being so... I, I hate you! You're so adorable. Look at your face. Look at your face. You go... I love you. Say, I love you, Christy Niff. What the fuck? Probably think because of the beard that I'm really hairy. I'm not. Alan! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Hey! You get back here! You make love to my wife! Alan! What? <laughs> <laughs> he was being abducted. Obviously, but what kind of... Holy Nobody shit. Nobody leaves our house! Go! Him? Yeah! He's still falling? Nowhere! Holy oh, shit! This is 20 miles! Oh, oh my god! You get back here! That is frightening. The Gretchel and Dawson has. Hold on, I'm up. Up for what? I gave my love to Karen. It was consensual. I'm done? What the fuck kind of song is that? Looks like we're going to Jersey to visit an accounting firm. That's a shitty day. <laughs> and all their fathers were hanged, and the children all got pink eyed. What the fuck? 
kind of song. Uh, okay. You have fun singing those songs? They're really depressing. <laughs> I do. They're full of rich history. Their fathers were hung, the children got pink eye, and their Harry Potter books were burnt. <laughs> what kind of fucking history is that? What the hell are you doing? If you were with me, you wouldn't be here in this strip club shaking it for dollar bills. This is a ballet studio. Oh my These god. These are horizontal. Now, if you will excuse me, I'm gonna dance. You don't think I can do this shit? Hey! Hey, wait, 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 what the fuck? Wait, that was that bad. What the fuck was that? That was surprisingly good, Terry. I love you, Francie. <laughs> you don't know what love is. Can you please go? And you two, creepy guy, standing in the door. <laughs> I think we all experienced our own ballet today. The ballet of emotion, feelings. You're kind of making things worse. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you could dance. We used to do those dance moves to make fun of guys when we were kids, show them how queer they were, OK? You learned to <laughs> dance like that sarcastically? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's life, OK? The kid flies private. Stay focused on the case, man. All right, Terry. He really dedicated himself to it. Uh-oh. We're being spied on. Getting peeked on. What accounting firm is closed at 11 a.m. on a Tuesday? Oh, this is a shithole. What? Oh. I love bombs. Oh, my God. How do they walk away in movies without flinching when it explodes <laughs> behind them? There's no way. When they flew the Millennium Falcon, Outside of the Death Star, it was followed by the explosion. That was bullshit. <laughs> Damn, Admiral Star Wars. That was all accurate. I need an MRI. What are you afraid of, man? I'm your partner. You can tell me. What the hell are you hiding from? I was a sophomore in college. The university I went to decided they needed to raise tuition. A classmate of mine, Brenda, came up with a nifty plan where she, she thought she'd date guys and charge of money i go on dates all the time with a whole bunch of you know boys and stuff mm -hmm. and i kind of need somebody to help me out like you know my partner in crime yeah i could make a i could make a schedule yeah 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 that's what i was thinking provide transportation services yeah yeah, yeah. you said you'd give me a percentage oh hey. my god you were a pimp what y yeah god, no no i was just trying to help a friend no you're kind of a pimp you're a pimp and wouldn't you know it some of brenda's girlfriends Decided they wanted to be a part of it. Pretty soon, there were about 14 ladies that I was protecting while they gave me money. We decided I shouldn't use my real name, so we came up with the name Gator. Anyway, one day I wake up and I look in the mirror and I don't like what I see. <laughs> one night, two of my favorite girls, Candy and Jolene, said, we gotta take you in. They dropped me off at the emergency room. That's where I met Sheila. I was a mess. I made a promise to myself and to her that I would never get out of control again. So as soon as I graduated from college, I became an accountant for the police department. Don't worry. I got your back. He was a fucking pimp. He was a pimp. An explosion at your accounting office. I guess it's an awful gas leak. The only gas leak is the one coming out of your mouth right now. <laughs> we know that wasn't your security team that grabbed you. And we know you're targeting a big fish to cover losses. You talk or I beat you so it don't show no bruises. God, this water is good. Terry, have you tried the water? Shut up, Alan. I assure you, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I... The cucumber accents the water in such a way that... I don't... Perhaps by way of apology, I can <laughs> offer you my personal courtside seats for the Knicks game with access to the Ambassador Club. Come on, Knicks! Come on! I got Knicks fever! This feels weird sitting here. It feels like it's a bribe. It is a bribe. Son of a bitch, I saw courtside and I went blind. <laughs> that was a trick. No more. Mamma Mia or Jersey Boys. <laughs> Damn it. Did it again. <laughs> so stupid. What drug cartel are you working with now? Okay, well, well I'll, I'll talk to you. You're reasonable. No, no. You're, you want to talk to me? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. 
Oh shit, wait, what? Ooh. Oh shit! We call this in, right? Looks like we got all the evidence we need. Oh, I'm sorry, my butterfly. We're, we're in the high desert. They took my shoes again, man. What the hell is it? <laughs> I'm gonna hang on to the wooden gun. To give you back my real gun? No. We're gonna give you this. It's a rape whistle. You blow that if you're in any trouble. <laughs> What do you even do around here besides interrupt people? Well, uh, I serve as treasurer to the union. A wicked pot of decaf. <laughs> exactly. You're a worthless piece of shit! <laughs> That's why I feel so sad all the time. Oh, shit. Bob, oh, oh. I didn't mean it, all right? I'm upset. Yo, <laughs> poor Bob, man. Holy <laughs> shit. A worthless piece of shit. Just tore him apart. Pregnant. Whose baby is that? <gasps> Who's the man who did that to you? Gators bitches better be used to Jimmy's. Oh my god. Get out, Alan! Get out! He's losing his shit. The darkness is overcoming him. Gators coming out to play. Lottery offices all those times. It's because he was hooking up with a Powerball girl. Yeah, she found a restraining order on him last week. It was right there in front of him the whole time. Oh. It can't be. You guys are getting transferred. Ouch. <laughs> wow. That hurt. Excuse me, where's my car? Uh, oh, they told it. A couple of homeless people are messing around in it. Oh, fuck no. Not again. Come on. We just got the wrong target for Urshan. OK, a rape whistle. This is real cop work. There is nothing about you that makes a man a man, OK? You got no gun, no car, no wife, and now you got no partner. Leave me alone. A mud case. Oh, shit. That was harsh. That was rude. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Bourbon and working out? Yeah. Bourbon and benching, boys. That's how it's done. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> sure. Um, our, our main client is Lendl Global. Can I ask what this is about? Uh oh, detective work. Gator needs a scat, you punk ass bitch. <laughs> Guy who does what needs to be done. A guy who knows how to use his dark side for good. And then you move to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> then you move to Florida. I like working traffic. I'm not going with you. Was it traffic? Bullshit. Fuck traffic. And the traffic guys? They're good guys. There's one guy, Philip. He can pee in the urinal from 20 feet. You gotta see it, Alan. What the fuck? I'm done. Get in the car. Come on, Alan. We both know it's wooden. Apartment pop. <laughs> Apartment pop. We've got a full moon. People are going to be amped. All right. Let's see what we got on hot <laughs> tips. All right. No Whoa. shit. The new bath mats are in. <laughs> Woo! Bath mats. One more thing. We got a serial rapist in Crown Heights. I. Oh. Huh? Urshan's connected to all the higher ups, and I gotta save what little ass I have left. You know, you keep hiding from shit in the world, and eventually the world comes to your front door. Nice. I heard an episode of Touched by an Angel. Yeah. <laughs> David Urshan, you're under arrest for fraud, embezzlement, and in connection to the murder of Don Beeman. Hey, guys. I mean, what? You're here illegally and without a warrant. We are within our rights to take action. Guns blazing? Holy shit. Oh, that's cool. Ooh! Go! Ooh, damn, this music, though. Who the hell are those guys? Gentlemen, I can get you obstructed new tickets for Rock of Ages. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna kill me, and then they, then they will kill you. Well, I'm gonna kill you first. And then... <laughs> uh, I have a small apartment. No one knows about it. I use it mainly for my parents and prostitutes. Not at the same time. That would be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I wasn't gonna come. I mean, after all those years, after the restraining order. I was worried. Restraining order? Hello, Alan. Hello, Mama Ramos. What, what are you doing out here? 
Sheila says she doesn't know what happened and she wants you back. Oh. She also says... Yes. She wants you on top of her, holding her hair and riding her like a bucking bronco while uh -huh. she sucks your thumb and says, Mommy <laughs> likey. You, you tell your daughter. He said he'll always love you. He also says... No, that no. he wants you to stare into each other's eyes without blinking while you do it. I love when we do that. And mom. then afterward, lick the sweat off each other. I don't want to do this. <laughs> you say things that are too personal. <laughs> <laughs> he says things I can't say. It involves a, a, a mannequin hand and, and an electric shaver taped to a golf club. <laughs> what? Oh, oh no! She loves you. I had in college. I used to run a dating service. He was a pimp. Yeah, I was. I was a pimp. <laughs> right now, the streets are a bloodbath. And statistically speaking, there's about 30 kids in here. Ten of you are going to be dead before your next birthday. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Try your hardest to not be black or Hispanic. There's no way they took the kid. You kill us and you kill our son. You're out $30 million. Oh, oh. Ah, he immediately called your bluff. <laughs> Please, don't move. Drop your weapons. I hope you like prison food and penis. Please, don't even... <laughs> that was so bad. That was so stupid. Stay with me. We're losing him. We're losing him. He's dying. No, We're... no, 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 no. I'm just resting. <laughs> <laughs> it was the king of the mutt cases, but Alan and Terry had worked it like stars. Like stars, they got fucking shot. Roger Wesley was linked to the Beeman murder by security cam footage, which Martin and Fossey hadn't checked. It only showed the back of their heads, but Alan's face back app was able to get a match to their faces. No fucking way. Francine. He played what? half at the reception, and it was beautiful. Terry asked Sheila to be his best man. But she declined. <laughs> tell me who you lost your virginity to. Heather Locklear. What? Heather Locklear? What? You've heard of her? Come on! It was much The peacock flies! Oh, fuck! All right, so we just watched the other guys. What'd you think, Curtis? I thought it was a great film. It was a, a very funny film. I got it got some laughs out of me, some gaffs out of me, man. Big hee hee ha ha's. A lot of yeahs all around the board, my friend. That is true. Oh, it's just a lot of fun, man. Honestly, I liked a lot of the jokes. I, I really like how they played on the whole buddy cop film stuff. You know, specifically there at the end, where it's just like, oh, they call the guys bluff. How you know? Just fucking shoots them. Yeah, it's just like, shoots them. It's just like, fuck you guys. Bam, bam. And and it's just the scene with Samuel Jackson the Rock. He literally jumped off the building. I, I generally don't get aim for I just, the bushes. I, just, I like that aim for the bushes. Ben and the jumping, you see, there's literally no bushes. There's it's just an, a, a it's concrete sidewalk. It's literally just a sidewalk. There's no bush in sight. Okay, I guess it's just like making fun of those like movies where they're just like they're invincible. You can do whatever the fuck yeah, they want. Yeah, it's probably like a reference or something. And yeah, of all things that killed those two guys, it was a mass. You know, they were in a massive gunfight, uh, multi multi car accidents. It seems like what? and they well, die from jumping off a building. But it makes it honestly, it makes sense. They were so strong that they could only kill themselves. No one else could kill them. I guess so. That, that would definitely explain it. You know, the power of being so powerful. Only you can kill yourself. 
don't know what the point is, but... Pro tip, powerful people. You're invincible. I like any movie with Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. I'm a sucker for the two of them. You no, know, honestly, I am too. I, I, I like... I, I don't know why, but I like watching Mark Wahlberg be an asshole. I like it. Yeah. I like seeing him call people pieces of shit. That they're worthless. That, that was really funny like, with that. to Bob, I think his name was. <laughs> you know, straight up, Bob kind of fucking deserved it, all right, man? Maybe those words would just, like, put him on the proper path to not being a piece of shit. Or worthless, you know? Nah, he was there at the investment meeting. He no! Sold, he, no. He, he, Bob basically sold off all of their, uh... Yeah, because Bob's their a, pension funds. Because he's a piece of shit! He was right! Bob was a piece of shit, not just that. Motherfucker turns around and says, I can make a mean decaf. The fuck does that supposed to mean, man? Who the fuck drinks decaf? Decaf ain't anything special. Decaf is literally, like him, shit! It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know why, but Will Ferrell movies are always really great. You know, they're always a good laugh. Will Ferrell can do no wrong. I swear to God, he's one of the guys I just, I love seeing him on camera. And again, Mark Wahlberg, God, man. I would be a menace to society as a whole if I went out talking like that, my guy. Holy shit. I don't go around, well, I mean, I was like, man, I do threaten people to subscribe. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I kind of get my outlet at home already. God damn. Hmm. Yeah, you talk to the non-subscribers in a pretty bad way. It feels good, doesn't it? It feels very good. It feels very empowering. You hear that? Talking shit's empowering. It's very empowering, especially when they can't talk back. <laughs> <laughs> Losers! No, I don't know, man. I like the other guys. That's it. I like this movie I like a lot. The whole time. Why the fuck is like Will Ferrell's character, why is it that every hot woman is attracted to him? No. I think it's because he treats him like they ain't shit. I guess so. Maybe it's that attitude he's got. You know, he just doesn't care about yeah. Yo, his ex-girlfriend, though? Oh, fuck, that was terrifying. You know in Cuck Lord Supreme? <laughs> Cuck Lord Supreme! He's Cuck Lord Supreme, I swear to man. That was the scariest thing ever. It was like they walked into the home of like some form of cult or something like that. Very scary. And they chased him for like 20 miles. Like, bro. Just for him to sleep with his <laughs> wife? Yeah. If you ever get to that level, man. You need to seek some help, all right? You have some serious deep-rooted issues at that point. The other guys is great. Like, what, there's nothing much more to say. Mark Wahlberg, uh, beautiful man, uh, always great in whatever he does. Will, Will for Will Ferrell. Beautiful, beautiful man. Beautiful man, always good at what he does. Solid. Absolute. Some of the best people on this planet. I'm gonna go now, okay? We're 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 fucking off. Like a peacock, we're flying. We're flying the fuck out this bitch. Bye. Adios, losers.